today's video, we want to review how for those with arthritis rheumatic diseases, there may be an important difference to consider between the two types of tests commonly available for COVID-19, PCR testing versus the rapid antigen test. So PCR testing, that's the one that we had originally when COVID-19 first started. How it works is by looking for specific genetic material for the coronavirus, the virus that causes COVID-19. The good thing about a PCR test is a positive test can generally be trusted. In other words, if it tests positive, you could trust that it's a true positive in the vast majority of cases. And similarly, if it tests negative, you could generally trust that the it is truly negative, that you do not have COVID-19 in those situations. Now that's a little bit different, at least it is uh, today, for the rapid antigen test. So this is a much more convenient and newer test for COVID-19, which folks can do on their own at home, uh, uh, very readily available. It works a little bit differently by looking for specific proteins from the coronavirus, the virus that causes COVID-19. Where it's a little bit different here is that you can generally trust a result that is positive. In other words, if the test comes back positive, the likelihood is that you do have uh, COVID-19. However, especially now with variants, a negative result on a rapid test may be a false negative result, meaning that if you test negative, it does not completely rule out the possibility that you do in fact have COVID-19. Now, one could wonder why, why does this matter? So for those with rheumatic disease and on medications for those conditions, those things put you at potentially increased risk of developing severe COVID-19, meaning COVID-19 that may require hospitalization or other uh, complications uh, related to the virus. But it also means that you are eligible for antiviral treatment, Paxlovid, which we cover in a different video and on our web website. And this medication uh, reduces the risk of developing severe COVID-19 when you have it. So not a vaccine that you take to prevent it in advance, but something you could take additionally when you have a positive uh, infection. But of course, to get the antiviral treatment, you have to have a positive test. You have to be able to demonstrate that you truly have COVID-19 to be eligible right now. So in this case, what do you do? What does this all mean? So if you think it is possible that you have a COVID-19 infection, do a rapid test first. If it's negative, but you still suspect, you still wonder, could this be COVID-19? Something doesn't feel right. The symptoms seem to fit. We would recommend to repeat that rapid test a few times, either that day or over the next couple days, because it may turn positive at some point. The other possibility though, would be to go get a PCR test. And that's gonna, how you access that may be different in different jurisdictions. In Alberta, it is still freely available, although you do need to get a prescription, which you can get from your rheumatologist, your family physician as well. And then if the test is positive, in either case, uh, you would be able to potentially access Paxlovid uh, if it's appropriate for you. For more information on COVID-19 and any of its uh, various subjects, we continue to update it uh, on our website. Please visit us at albertarheumatology.com.